What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Shabal Afghodi back at it with the Ashes Cricket Karam mode. As you guys can see, we are in the English County Cup Division 1, Round 13 against Gloucestershire. We will be playing. We're playing for Essex. And uh, yeah, let's get into a lineup. Um, down, da what? I can't speak, mate. Daniel Lawrence, I'm pushing him down to number 6 because he wasn't very good at um, opening the batting. He is very good at opening the batting in the T20s, but not in the county. And that's why I've brought him at number six. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep everything else the same. And, uh, yeah, let's see how this turns out to be. Let's hope it's a good one for us. All right. Finally, they asked me to confirm the lineups like three times. I don't know why they do that, but... There it is. Right, it's Gloucestershire taking on Essex. Now, Gloucestershire doing pretty well uh, so far in this county uh, cup. Essex not so well because Gloucestershire is second in their division. And Essex is sixth. The lineups look pretty much the same as always. Um, obviously, there's the one order change on the Essex side. But look at that. It's a very grassy and soft wicket. Look at that, mate. Can't even tell the difference between the pitch and the rest of the ground. There's a three-day lookout. It's a bit on the warm side. Not too hot, though. It's all right. It's not that bad. And I'm going to go with heads because I love getting them. And I'm sure you do as well. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good head, right? Apparently, this fucking coin doesn't because it landed on tails. And Gloucestershire have won and have chosen to bowl fast. So, will we put into bat first? That's not good for us because I wanted to bowl first. I mean, judging from the way the pitch is, very green, very grassy wicket. So, yeah, there he is. Alastair Cook, the master class, Chef Cook. Ah, uh, there he is. Finally called him that. I've been wanting to do that for such a long time. One of the commenters reminded me to do that, and here I am doing it. Anyways, David Payne. With the dreadlocks, wow, alright. He's uh, he's going to be opening the bowling for Gloucestershire, and hopefully we haven't lost any wickets. Liam Norwell, oh wow, look at that. Look at that hairline. <laughs> it's worse than Kim Jong-un. Right, you know what, I'm going to pull it. Oh shit. You know, here's the thing, when it's on the off side, you play it on the off, not on the on side, alright? That's what I tried to do, and it didn't work, obviously. You know what, let's go straight. Fucking nicked it. Oh, I'm gone. I am gone for just five runs. I knew I was going to go, though. I, I was really struggling. Oh, yeah. Drag that back into my stumps. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was, I was really struggling. As you can see, I only scored five runs of 11. That's not how I bat at all. But, uh, yeah, it's a bowling pitch. It's a green wicket, so I'm not that worried because uh, uh, I know we can do the same to them. And Alastair Cook, it doesn't matter how the pitch is. He is an absolute masterclass. Gets the 50. Callum Taylor did well, too. Let's not overlook his innings because that was a brilliant innings. He was scored actually more than Alastair Cook. But Benny Hill, who's that? Benny Howell or something? <laughs> Anyways, did you, uh... 31 overs in, and all right, we've taken four wickets, so obviously it's not going as well as we would like to on a, I've scored 140. I mean, it's pretty good, you know, but um, the amount of runs we scored, I think we need uh, to, to have taken at least six wickets by now, but how is going to be Gonski? Oh, there's a bit of movement in the pitch. I like that. You know, let's go the same. Ooh. Okay, that moved a bit too much, and it's going to be missing the wickets. There's no need to shout, mate. I know I do it because the thing is, sometimes these refer, uh, these umpires, sorry, you get them wrong, and so that's why I always appeal, even though I know it's not out. Can something happen? Nope, nothing. So there's another maiden. Nothing's been happening. That's why I haven't been showing these overs. That's the most exciting thing right there. Me hitting the wickets. That's the most exciting thing that's happened. So, uh, yeah. Come on, Al. we got to get him out. Oh, that's a good shot into extra cover, and it's gone for four. Al is like, you want excitement, lad? Let me give you some, then. And he gave it to me. Give it to me good. It's Gonski. 
Oh my god, the fall of Wicket was incredible. I think I stopped it in time. You know what? That's... here's... I'm a bit confused now. Should I give myself an over or... Should I let them ball? Because they're doing tremendously well and Rippon has got... You know what? I'm going to let them ball. And they finished it off. Look at that. And I'm out to bat again. So I didn't ball that much. I know I could have given myself some more overs, but here's the thing. They were balling tremendously well, and I didn't want to ruin the rhythm. I was like, you know what? You do your thing, mate. Go out there and smash these mugs. And look at that. We ended up having a lead. 105 runs lead on a green wicket like this. So that's why I said I'm not too worried. Oh, look at that. We start off with a wide. So I said I'm not too worried when I was dismissed for five runs because the wicket is so green that I had hope that our bowlers can turn it around. Just like their bowlers did, to be honest. They restricted us. Uh, you know what? Let's go straight. And that's gone past them. They've pushed the fielders up a bit. And anything that's hit even remotely on the middle of the bat is going to go to the boundary. Going quite slow, but... Oh, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? I'm, I'm going very slow. Still, I'm not able to time it well. I'm not trying... I can't just hit it in the middle of the... In the middle of the bat. It's just not... It's just not coming nicely because I mean it's a really green wicket so it's not it's not easy to play pace ballers on a wicket like this that's another short one and I completely misjudged it my judgment is obviously not helping the situation either you know what I'm gonna play the only way I know how to play I'm gonna send it to the seventh sky mate that's gone 87 meters come on man come on that's it that's more like it man they're really like I don't know what's going on. I just I wasn't able to hit any boundaries. It's the first boundary and it's a six. Oh, that's short and it's wide and it's gone. Too much width. Too much width. Allowed me to free my arms and it's gone. Ski mate, four runs. You know what? Let's go on the off. Can I find? Oh, yes, I can. Thread the needle. Find the gap between the two fielders. We'll go all the way though. I think it's gonna. But is it gonna? Oh, no, it's not. Come on. You know what? You know what? We're going to fit. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Thank God that wasn't a direct hit because I think I would have been gone. We got four runs off it anyways. We didn't get a boundary, but we got four runs in it. Oh, I think I'm going to cut it. Let's go. Oh, that came back. That came back. That was a dangerous shot to play, but I've played it well and it's gone for four. That's it, mate. That's all <laughs> like it. It's a very risky shot. It came back into me. I was expecting it to either be like a straight one or move away from me. Let's go straight. I was going to go on the covers, but that's too straight. And it's going to go to a boundary. Yes, it will. Two back-to-back -back boundaries. Four runs. That's just a very expensive over. Oh, oh, and it's my 50. I was like, why is the, why is the crowd applauding so much? And I realized it's my 50. I've just brought it up. Look at that. 53 of 48. There's the wagon wheel. You know what? Let's go straight. Oh, that's good. Is it good enough, though? Oh yes, it's cleared the, the fielder and it's a quick outfield. It's gone for four, mate. No need to run after that one. I haven't played one of those special shots in a long time. Oh, that was a full toss and it's gone. Is it? Oh yes, it has. It's beaten the fielder. It's a very quick outfield, mate. I didn't expect that to go for four, but it's gone. Four runs off a special shot. All right, come on. Let's go on the off. Oh, it's into the gap. It's... Oh, no, it's not. What a great piece of fielding that is, mate. He stopped that. Great fielding, whoever that is, he deserves applause. Oh, that's a. Yep. Yeah, I haven't hit that one well either. Come on, that's a maiden. Don't like being bowled maidens against. Oh no, that was a no ball, so it's not a maiden. Alright, so this is the last delivery, and I'll take a single off of it due to that no ball. So now that's two runs off the over. I've only taken one, but it's two overall because of the no ball. It's a spinner again. I think it's time to go. Oh, oh, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a brilliant lunge. He really lunged after that one, mate. Calvin Smith takes the catch, and I'm being dismissed by Hammond for 66 runs of 70 deliveries. And I have hit a six and seven fours, and my innings have come to an end. And I think we've done, we've done pretty all right because uh, we were leading by 105 runs already. So <clears throat> we were in a good position before we even started. And then uh, look at that. He really jumped up after that one. Wasn't even looking at it. No look catch, mate. Look at that. It's brilliant. 
I hope Callum Taylor um, replicates what he did in the first innings. Nick Brown at a brilliant 76, and Callum Taylor is going again. Oh, he's got 100, 150. Wow. 181. That's unbelievable. Daniel Lawrence with 119 as well. Look at that. Everyone is coming together. Scoring big, and that's that has to be a huge total because, uh, yeah, because we had a 105 lead already. So, uh, yeah, I think we've pretty much won this game, to be honest. All right, let's go. Let's bring it back. Oh, there's a bit of movement. I think I'm going to keep bowling this time a bit. Not like last time. Well, it depends. If the other ballers uh, are on a wicket taking spree, look at that 686 target. That's a huge target. I don't think they're getting even near that. Whoa, what happened? I heard the wicket noise. Didn't you hear it too? I thought... Wait, did I just clip the wickets? Oh yeah, I clipped the wickets! I clipped... <laughs> I clipped the wickets. That's so funny at the other end. Oh wow, that's fantastic. You know what? Ooh, okay. Tried the York Alliance. They're just going to take a single. Yeah, they are. It's two off the over already. Let's go with it. Oh! my my how did I not get that wicket mate dent you survive this time but you're not gonna survive the next one I'm telling you right now look I've got him look I already know I already know I've got him okay I, I, <laughs> he haven't but I will that's for sure <laughs> Now let's go on the leg side again. Oh, he's heaved that one away but there's a square fielder who's gonna pick it up yes he is and that's just one run thankfully all right, come on, let's go. Oh, he's played that well into the, into the gap on the offside. Will it go the way? I don't think it will. I think the fielder will get to it, but we need to take some wickets, man. Oh, that's good fielding there, and I think they've collected four. Oh, oh, that's a close one. Come on. Nope, it's not. They've just collected four runs. So, uh, yeah, they're doing pretty well at the moment. I mean, yeah, they still have a big total to chase down. They still have some 400 more runs to score, but... Uh, we need to take some uh, quick wickets. Get Dent out. If we can get Dent out, I mean, I think, I think we've then pretty much secured the game. But like I said, they still need to score about 400 runs. So I think we've pretty much we've won the game before we even started. But still, I think if we take a wicket, because we scored 600 some runs, that means they can too. You know, they're much uh, better form than oh. That was a good delivery. I'm going to try to appeal. Nothing's going to come off of it, but... Alright, so the overs remaining today, it says one, so... Is it the third day or the fourth day? I think, it, I'm pretty certain it's the third day. So it's not going to be another draw, I know that, but... Let's hope we can win it. I mean, if you can't get six wickets in a whole day, then we don't deserve to win it, really, let's be honest. All right, it's the start of a new day, a new session, a fresh start. Chris Dent and Han Hankins, I think, will be coming out starting the new day for Gloucestershire. They're not in a very good position at the moment. Essex are pretty much set to win the game, but they can make a comeback, Gloucestershire, if Essex allow them to just rotate the strike between these two men out there, Den Ten Hankins. They can form a partnership that will prove to be the end of Essex. Alright, come on Iron, that's a single in the last delivery of my over. You need to get a wicket, man. I have a bad feeling. I feel like they're going to make a comeback, even though it's very unlikely. Like I said, we have a very big total. But still, I just, I just... I don't know, I have this feeling that they're gonna, these two are really gonna take it away from us. Oh, come on, come on, smash! Oh, no, that's not what I meant by smash. We did smash, but... <laughs> not the smash I was looking for, it's gone for four, mate. It's gone for four. Hankins is now gaining confidence as well as Dent. You know what, can I get... Oh! Anything, please, give me something, come on, ref! Come on, umpire. Sorry, keep calling you ref. Dent is looking good, man. Dent, oh, that's what I'm talking about. A lovely shot, and I think it's going to beat the fielder as well. It has. And it's gone for four runs. He's gone to 88 after that delivery, and that is just unbelievable. 
Around the wicket usually does the trick, but on this occasion, Dent has hit his hundred. Yeah, that's it. That's his hundred up. You know what? Let's applaud. Let's all applaud him because that's a very good innings and very, very much needed. So by Gloucestershire, and uh, it's good to see that he, he uh, really took the responsibility and it's going strong still. He has to do a lot more than that to win the game, but. I mean, they're getting there. They're slowly but surely they're getting there. I think they're almost halfway. Uh, almost halfway through the total. Actually, they need like 20 more runs. 10, 15, something like that. More runs. Come on. Oh, bring it back. Oh, that's not come back enough. That's not come back enough. That's not out. Hankin survives. And that's the wagon wheel for Chris Dent, who's he's playing tremendously well. Hankins, you're going down. I've hit him on the legs. It's not out. It's not out. It's not fucking out. Come on. When is it going to be out? And look at Dent. He's gone to 145. Right around the wick and to the left. He, it will do the trick. I know he hit it with a bat. I'm going to appeal anyways because sometimes they do give it out. Nope, they're not going to. Why would they? Come on, man. All right, you know what, Dent? You know what, Dent? Your time has come. All right, come on, let's go with the same again. Oh my goodness, come on! How is that not out, mate? How is, what is it gonna take to get him out? This is what I'm talking about. This is what makes me feel like they're gonna win. It's absolutely impossible to get them out. Look at that seam position, mate. Look at that. Unbelievable, mate, unbelievable swing. It's missed everything. Missed his leg, missed his bat, missed his stumps. At least hit something, man. All right, come on, let's go with a York. And I finally got him. I've smashed his middle stump. It's not his middle stump. It's his off stump. I thought it was his middle stump. Maybe it's his leg stump. I don't need, I, I don't care, mate. It's gone. It's fucking finally, he's gone, mate. It's his leg stump. It's gone, ski, mate. Holy shit, you can tell how much this wicket means to me. I've been trying to get it, but it's just not been working for me. Finally, the Yorker does the trick. He completely misjudges it, and he's gone for 147. But you know what? All of that aside, it was a great innings from Dent. And you have to give it to him. Just when his team needed him, he came. He came in with a bang. And, uh, well, obviously, I came in with a bang as well. Look at that. Smashed the stump out. That's probably going to be my thumbnail feeling much better about this game all of a sudden oh I think I've got another one I think I've got him come on mate raise that finger Graham Van Buren has gone on your way right where you came from he's gone for a golden one first delivery faces he is gunski Graham Van Buren it was great while you were here for the one second that you were <laughs> you were out there but now it's time to go back to the dugout with your head in your hands and let Craig Miles come out and get decimated by my balling. Here's the Hawkeye for that delivery, by the way. If anybody was wondering whether it was out or not, look at that. It's oh my god, that swung a lot. Damn, I didn't realize it was out. I thought it was gonna hit the middle stump, but look at that. Was I wrong or was I wrong? Exactly, I was wrong. If I can get Hankins as well. Nope, he's gonna get me. That's gone. I think that's a six. Yes, it is. Is it? Oh, yeah. Just crosses it. But it is a six indeed. They all count. They all get them six runs. And yeah, that didn't. That, that one didn't turn at all. Same position, everything was good, but it didn't. Did not turn. Not even a bit. You know what? I believe I've got another wicket. Oh! I was going to say, I believe I've got another wicket in me. I've got one more wicket in me. I'm going to make it three this inning. Right, so that's the end of that session. And um, I don't know why. We should have we should have wrapped the things up by now, man. We got the two big wickets. Well, no, not the two big wickets. One of them is Hankins, who's still out there. So if we get Hankins out, the, the game is pretty much done. I mean, it's still pretty much done, to be honest. But if we can get Hankins out, then then it's over. Like then, right now, at least they have some hope in Hankins, and he's gone to 93. As I talk about how he's the last hope they've got. But yeah, we need to take him out. Once we do, that'll be that. Can never really. I mean, I, I wish you could see the bowler from this position. You can't. Oh, 
Oh, he's gone. That's George Hankins. George Hankins does not get his 50, just like Dent did not get his 150. He's gone for 95, and that's more like it. He, he played a great knock, though, once again, much like Dent. He deserves an applaud. So let's all applaud for him, because he thoroughly deserves it. Uh, like I said with Dent, just when the team needed him, he stepped up and he took the responsibility. But that was a beautiful short delivery. And it was too much for him to handle. And Brown latches on to that one. Nick Brown takes the catch. Miles Emmond is the next man in. And like I said previously, once we get Hankins, it's all downhill from there for this team. And uh, let's hope that that was true. Let's hope now these two don't make a brilliant partnership like Dent and Hankins. But I'm pretty certain they won't. And uh, I forgot to hit the skip button again. There you go. It's gone. It's it's done. It's done and done. Oh, no, it's not done and dusted. It's still on wicket to go then. And uh, if I can get that wicket, that would be nice. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. You know what? Why not? Why bloody not? All right. So that's uh, just one run off that. I couldn't get the wicket, but let's hope the bowler at the other end can. And we can just bloody go home, mate. It's been a long time. I want to see my wife and kids that don't exist. Can this be the end? Yes, it is. And we have won the game 212 runs. Although Gloucestershire made a brilliant comeback. You cannot take that away from them. Absolutely, you can't. Because they did fight back, especially Denton and Hankins at the end. Gave me a little scare there, but the man of the match goes to Callum Taylor. He's been in brilliant neck with about 85 in the first innings, but here's how it went down. Alastair Cook, the chef, got 57. I just got five runs. That was it, really. Nick Brown got 27, 85 for Taylor. 11 for Ripon, 25 for Lawrence. It wasn't too good in the first innings, but he backed it up. In the second innings, 10 for Nath, 47 for Amir. Look at that brilliant innings from Amir. And then four, none. I mean, six, none, and eight for the tail end is. The bowling figures for Gloucestershire. Payne didn't get any wickets. Four for Norwell, three for Miles, three for Hammond, and Howell did not get a wicket. And the Gloucester batsmen came out and uh, they were pretty good. Uh, well, at the start, Howell was pretty good. 84 for him, 10 for Bancroft, 32 for Calvin Smith, 9 for Cockbane. Fucking brilliant name. And then Dent got 19. Four for Hankins. Van Buren got two. Miles got three. Hammond got one. 13 for Norwell. And Payne got five. And look at that. Ripon got one, two, three, four, five. And these are all bowling figures. For the first innings, Amir got one. Beard got none. Ripon got a five wicket haul. So that's great to see. Niger got three. The other spinners. The two spinners did really well. And one for Nath, the youngster. None for me. And none for Walter. And uh, we restricted him to 183 and 49 overs just like that. Then we came out to bat for the second time. The chef did not do too well this time. Only 23. I got 66. 76 for Nick Brown and Catlin Taylor. This is where it really turned it around. 181 for 229 runs. Brilliant inning. 16 then for Ripon and 119 for Daniel Lawrence. Like I said, he wasn't too great in the first innings. But in the second innings, he turned it around. And then... 32 for the young Sanath, Amir got only 5, 15 for Niger, 35 for Walter, brilliant from Walter, and Beard got 17, totaling 8, I mean, sorry, not 8, 587 runs, and we had about 97 run lead, so it took it well over 600. Now, the bowling figures for Gloucestershire, it looks pretty alright, but it's not at all, they were very ordinary, 3 for Payne, 3 for Norwell, 3 for Amund, 1 for Miles, and Hal did not get any wickets at all. And the economy rates are low as well, but it's a county game, so they're always going to be low. But it was very ordinary display of bowling. It took them 134.5 overs to restrict us. And that was after we scored 587. So, and I, yeah, then they came out, and they, to be fair to their batsmen, they put up a fight. Howell got 88, 5 for Bancroft, 24 for Smith, 7 on for Cockbane. Brilliant name. I love that name, mate. Every time I'm going to say it like that. Anyways, Chris Dent got a brilliant 147 and Hankins. Those two made a great partnership. Really scared me there for a second. 95 from him. Both of them fell short of completing their, you know, next milestones. Uh, Dent, 150, and then Hankins, his 100. Uh, Van Buren got a golden one. 17 for Miles. Hammond got 17. 6 for no, uh, Hammond. 
No, 17 for Miles, 6 for Hammond, and Norwell got 4. And Payne was not out for 6, and he faced 27 deliveries. So he did pretty well to stay out there for quite a lot, uh, a long time, which is not easy to do as a tail ender. But uh, 473, which is a brilliant total. But uh, it's it's not enough when you're chasing 687, I think it was, we were ch uh, they were chasing. But yeah, obviously they had a huge disadvantage um, to begin with, but they they put up a fight, and here are our balling figures. Two for Amir, one for Beer, two for Walter, two for me, one for Ripon, two for Nath, and none for Callum Taylor. And that is all she wrote. Callum Taylor was the man of the match for his brilliant batting figures. And uh, yeah, we won by 212 runs. That's a lot of runs, mate. A win was much needed for us, because uh, we're fifth now. We were sixth. But now we're fifth, and in the next episode, we'll be playing Nottinghamshire in round 13 of Division 1 of England County Cup. And as always, if you like this video, I need you to smash the like button, internet check, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want to do, mate. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...